Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking. Now, just a quick one today because just come across an article suggesting Hollywood has still not learned its lesson over this whole fake woke claptrap. And it seems to be confused before they've even started with this whole pirates thing. So according to multiple outlets, there's a new Pirates of the Caribbean film in the works, but it's not one with Johnny Depp. <laughs> Remember him? And it doesn't seem to be an entry into the main canon, so to speak. It, it seems to be a spin-off, which will star Harley Quinn herself, Margot Robbie, and will reunite her alongside her Birds of Prey scribe, Christina Hodson. I don't know where to start with this nonsense. So first of all, announcing it to be quote-unquote female-fronted, but with no hint of a story sounds to me like pure virtue signalling, and the stench of wokeness is already exuding from this whole thing. Like, why don't you just tell us about the proposed story? Even a tease, rather than marketing the entire idea on how many women you can shove in front of a camera. It didn't work for Ghostbusters, and it certainly ain't going to magically work now. Secondly, a pirate's movie without Jack Sparrow. I don't know, that feels like a bad idea. It, it could work, could work, don't get me wrong. But Jack, Captain Jack is just he's synonymous with the franchise. Unless you're going to recast the role which is another bad idea, by the way. I, I just don't see it working. And thirdly, does Marco Robbie literally have to be in everything now? I'm just going to leave that there. Because she seems to be in bloody everything. Fourth, the producers seem to be confused as to what the hell they're even doing. I mean, this headline here states that this project is separate from the already announced franchise reboot being developed by pirate scribe Ted Elliott and Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin. Then just a, further, a bit further down it says, the project in early development is not intended to be a spin-off of the long-running franchise that had pirate Jack Sparrow at his centre, but rather a wholly original story with new characters under the pirate's moniker. Okay, so this is a separate project from the already announced reboot being written with a whole new set of characters and original story, yet it is not intended to be a spin-off. You're going to have to help me out here. How could it not be if it is a separate to the already announced reboot of the main series? I just don't understand. I, I don't understand. I don't think they do either. I think they're talking utter bollocks. And lastly, can we please end the practice of failing upwards? It says here, look, Hodson is one of the Hollywood's go-to blockbuster writers. Seriously? With credits that include Transformers spin-off Bumblebee, as well as DC superhero projects The Flash, which now has Michael Keaton reprising his famous role of Batman and Batgirl. Look, Birds of Prey was only the third big budget project of writer Christina Hodson's CV. And only one of those movies even did decently at the box office. The first was a non-entity, and the third lost Warner Brothers just over an estimated $200 million. So why is she being rewarded with all these other tenpole multi-million pound summer blockbusters to ruin? You know, you've got Flash, Batgirl, Pirates, all this after writing a movie that was criticised for a messy story poor characters and they ended up losing 200 million if if someone underperformed like this catastrophically in the private sector you'd be out on your ear looking for a new job with your dick in your hands and probably blacklisted from the industry but in hollywood they give you even more money to have another go with it's madness speaking of madness you got this look in addition to collaborating on birds of prey Robbie and Hodson together in 2019 launched the Lucky Exports Pitch Program, a new initiative aimed at getting more female identifying writers hired by studios to write action centric movies. This is a whole nother can of worms I don't really want to get into, but, but what does that mean? Can I just can I get a gig on writing a movie if I just turn up to the pitch meeting in a wig and a dress and simply say I self identify as a woman? God, is it that? Hashtag clown world 2020. So to summarise, we've got a film that is once again pandering to faux feminism, a spin-off that isn't quite intended to be a spin-off, but it's totally a spin-off, a pirates movie with no Johnny Depp, and it's to be made by the same team who brought us the colossal failure that was Birds of Prey. So yeah, this is totally going to work, guys. I mean, I'd give them $200 million dues based on that bitch. 
God, these numbers never learn, do they? <sighs> well, hopefully, we'll see in the future how this does. Maybe I'll eat my words. Maybe I'll be eating my words, but uh, but somehow I think this is going to fail. Call me psychic, but I don't think it's going to be good. If you enjoyed the vid, kindly leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content, click the bell for notifications of future videos, and watch out for Marxists.